really the person to do it, but is open and uh, all sorts of great things going on because uh, people what? are yeah. looking in the sky. And I was going to say, obviously everyone's watching Hallis and you must have been uh, talked about Hallis oh. all week long, but I mean, it, it's, uh, I saw it a little bit yesterday on the television and it really is quite a, a minuscule dot at the moment. Isn't it? Yeah, but it's drawing closer and, and the whole point about National Astronomy Week is by the end of the week you should be able to see it through a pair of binoculars. So I've brought my binoculars in with me today, as you can see, and um, forget telescopes. I mean, people keep saying to you, you need a telescope to see Halley. You don't. You need a pair of binoculars like this. And these are absolutely ideal. And by the end of the week, you'll see the comet next door to the Seven Sisters star cluster. It's good. I have, I have a pair of binoculars very similar to that, Ooh. so I'll be able to see them through mine, will I? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you know precisely where to look, can you see it? I can see some stars. <laughs> There's Keith over there, I can see. Uh, <laughs> but no. I mean, as well as, as well as the comet, there's all kinds of other goodies coming on. Um, if I can do a little bit of a plug, just a plug at, um, if people want to know what's going on in their local area, they can tune into a radio programme on BBC Radio 4 this right. afternoon called Cosmic Pursuits at half past three. And what will you be telling them? On? I'll be telling them all about what to do during National Astronomy Week, where to go, what kind of things are going on. There's exhibitions starting, the um, Planetarium's got a new show, National Maritime Museum's got a big exhibition called Space Works, but even locally, um, many amateur astronomers are flinging open their observatories to the public. Star parties. It's, it's been a great start. Star to parties? Star parties, that's What's right. What's a star party? Well, try and imagine about sort of uh, 75 amateur astronomers gathered together on a common somewhere, say, outside Birmingham, all with their telescopes, all pointing and looking at all the objects in the sky, like Jupiter, and the public come along and say, hey, that's an amazing sight, and you can look through a telescope. It's very exciting. Have you ever looked through a telescope? I haven't. I've looked through binoculars many times. Yeah, well, try and have a look through a telescope this week. You'll get a chance to do that. Okay. All over the country, up and down. So all sorts of local events going on as well. What I was going to ask you, you talk about Halley's Comet, but what, what actually is a comet? It's basically a kind of cosmic iceberg. Um, Halley, in its raw state, is about six miles across. And when it's out a long way from the sun, because normally it lives way beyond the orbit of Neptune, mm -hmm. but it comes to see us every 75 or 76 years. When it does that, it gets so close to the sun that its icy surface begins to evaporate. And when you see the tail. And that's right, and you see the tail going out behind it because the sun's solar wind mm -hmm. is blowing the gases away. So uh, that's what a comet basically is. Um, on this occasion, Halley won't be a very spectacular sight. But there are, I know there are special observation points out where people can go. Yeah, I mean, all around the country. I think the best thing to do is check with your local library mm. and find out you know, where to see the comet and that kind of thing. I will say this, Mike, um, although you'll see it through binoculars by the end of the week, it is drawing closer, and as it goes closer to the sun, the gases get gassier, the tail gets longer, and by the beginning of December, you'll see it with the unaided eye. So that's something to really look forward so to. So do you think the sale of binoculars will go up over the next couple oh, of weeks? Oh, sale of telescopes is going up as well. All these unscrupulous manufacturers trying to make people buy telescopes. But I, know, I, I, know, yeah. I know I was going to say, sorry, that if you go to one of these observation points, it is helping a, a certain charity. I was about sense. to point that out. We are being telepathic here today, because I was just going to say, if you go really to an observation cosmic, point... I knew it would be oh, cosmic. absolutely. <laughs> I can't remember. Yes, there's going to... All proceeds from National Astronomy Week go to the children's charity, Sense, which is for children who can't see and can't hear about all the exciting things because their mums had German measles when they were pregnant. So really, you know, dig, dig deep into your pockets because it's a marvellous charity to support. Great. OK, while you're here, we'll talk more about your books and things later and take some calls later on 01811 8055. <laughs> I like binoculars. They're nice great, aren't they? It's impossible. Yeah. Would, you, would you help us do some prize picks for us? Yeah, 